I have watched the hog chops and the magazines, and you know, every year towards the end of the season, you know, all the clubs send in their stuff, and you know, uh, so and so flew us such and such this year, and so and so's bird broke its wing, uh, you know, stooping in after a rabbit. So and so's bird broke its leg, stooping after a rabbit. So and so's bird got hit by a car chasing a duck across the highway. Uh, so and so's bird just happened, and they always go. Well, we send our sympathies out to so and so. Uh, but, you know, that's falconry. Stuff happens. Somebody's bird could get nipped by a squirrel and it's front page stuff. You know, shouldn't have been done. Uh-huh, see, I told you. You know, and in reality, most, I, I, I've been flying on squirrels now for 25 years. I've never, and plus all of the uh, friends and all of the apprentices has come through my life and I've seen thousands of squirrels taken in the last 25 years. I have never seen a bird seriously hurt. Not seriously hurt. I've seen them get nipped, uh, but then they get over it. So the point that I'm trying to make is that anytime you've got your bird out there hurling itself uh, at things, there's a risk factor involved. And, it, and, and it's been my uh, observation over the years, what I've seen is that chasing squirrels is not any more dangerous than chasing rabbits. In fact, 